Amber Heard is allegedly planning to appeal the ruling in her defamation action against ex-husband Johnny Depp. Heard's lawyer, Elaine Breedhoft, said on NBC's Today on Thursday morning, just hours after a Virginia jury found in Depp's favor in his $50 million libel lawsuit against the Aquaman star, that the actress definitely intended to appeal. Breedhoff told Savannah Guthrie of Today that her client has some strong grounds for an appeal. Breedhoff believes a number of reasons contributed to Heard's loss during the week's long trial, including the case's social media prominence, which she feels affected the jury, as well as evidentiary rulings. Several things were allowed in this court that should not have been allowed, Breedhoft added. And it caused the jury to be confused. Breedhoft then contrasted the ruling with a contrasting outcome in the United Kingdom, where Depp lost a libel lawsuit against The Sun in 2020 after the tabloid called him a wife-beater. And the court ruled that Mr. Depp had perpetrated at least 12 acts of domestic abuse, including sexual violence against Amber, and we weren't authorized to tell the jury this, so, what did Depp and his crew take away from this? Amber should be demonized and the proof should be suppressed, she stated. We had a huge amount of material in this case that was suppressed in the UK case. When the matter was brought up in the United Kingdom, Amber won and Mr. Depp lost. Following a six-week trial and three days of deliberation, a jury of five men and two women awarded Depp $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages on Wednesday, finding that Heard defamed Depp intentionally and maliciously in her 2018 op-ed in the Washington Post, in which she identified herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. The punitive damages were decreased by Judge Penny Ascarate to the highest amount allowed, $350,000. Breedhoft said Heard, who was awarded $2 million by the jury after it found one statement by Depp defamatory against her, is absolutely not able to pay. She added that the verdict sends a horrible message. It's a significant setback, because that is exactly what it means. Unless you pull out your phone and you video your spouse or your significant other beating you, effectively, you won't be believed. Thank you for watching till the end. Please like the video and subscribe for more interesting news.